I want to apologize to you all. By the grace of God, tomorrow we will start early. Yes, we will start very, very early. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. First John 5 verse 4 For whosoever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith, our faith in Christ Jesus. Therefore I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. For we are the light of the earth, and when the light shines brightly, Darkness cannot comprehend. John chapter 1 verse 5. The light shines in darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it. For the power of God in us shines brightly as a shining light and no darkness or authority of the dark world cannot comprehend. For we have authority. For when his light in us shines brightly, darkness cannot comprehend. No principalities, no works of wicked hand can comprehend. He said, I have given you authority to tread upon scorpions and others and all the works of the enemy, and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. You see what is happening? God Almighty is approaching the root cause of the problem in the lives of that woman, setting her complete free. In the moment, she will be rejoicing, having found a new freedom in Christ Jesus. Because when Jesus Christ comes into our life, it puts an end to our past and gives birth to our future. Thus, we have been given authority. This is the believer's authority to tread upon scorpions and others and all the works of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. God has granted us his power, thus his authority through his blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary, thereby welcoming us to partake in his authority. Romans chapter 3 verse 12 Thereby giving us the authority of overcomers over the world Jeremiah 1 verse 19 says They will fight against you but they will not overcome or have victory over you because I will deliver you declares the Lord of hosts Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you. The Lord has assured us of his deliverance power. 
he did not say you will not see the storms but he said when you go through the storms I will be with you and I will deliver you just as first John chapter 5 verse 5 says for whosoever believeth that I am the Son of God I have given him the authority to overcome the world For the same power that raised Jesus from death over all principalities, over all earth, lives in us, reigns in us. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The healing you receive today will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. The deliverance you receive today will remain permanent in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right now. The Bible says that God Almighty sent forth his world and it heals them. If there is anyone we are unable to touch, The word of God reach you where you are. And so place your hand on your chest. Place your hand on your chest right now. And say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. There is power in your mouth. Yes, there is power in your mouth. The belief in your heart is released by faith out of your mouth. Say, Father, heal me. Father, heal me. Revelation 12 verse 11. And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb, they overcame him. And because of the words of their testimony and by their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death. For our Heavenly Father did not only assure us of an overcoming end, but also a reward for those that will stand and shine their light in order to overcome. Be healed in your spirit, be healed in your soul, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed, be healed. Thus is our obligation as children of God to overcome the demonic worlds and principalities of darkness because there is a reward. Fire! Holy Ghost 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 fire! Begin to command the fire of the Holy Ghost upon them right now. Every contrary spirit, spirit that steals, kills, and destroys, by the in the name of Jesus, say out, 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 contrary spirit, say out, out, out. Yeah, child of grace, say, I am healed. Let somebody say, I'm healed. I want to hear someone say, I am free. I am free. I am delivered. I am delivered. I am linked up with God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
I want to appreciate every one of you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you once again. We bless the name of the Lord for this wonderful day. Tomorrow is another day. I want to apologize to you all. By the grace of God, tomorrow we will start early. Yes, we will start very, very early. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. May your blessing remain permanent in Jesus' name. May the favor of God in your life remain permanent in the name of Jesus. May the grace of God remain permanent in your name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation 3 verse 12. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will not go out from it anymore. And I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heavens from my God and my new name. Revelation 3 verse 5 He who overcomes will thus be clothed in white garments, and I will not erase his name from the book of life. I will confess his name before my father and before his angels, saith the Lord. For the gates of hell cannot prevail over God's chosen people. He said, I have chose you. I did not reject you. I chose you. And because of that, the gates of hell cannot prevail over you. And the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, told Peter in Matthew 16, verse 18, I also say to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will be my church, and the gates of hell will not overpower, will not prevail over it. For God is not man that he should lie, Neither is he the son of man that he should repent of any of his declaration. Said once have God spoken and thrice have I heard that all power belongs to him. As it is written that you may be justified in your words and prevail when you are judged. For as children of God we ought not to be overcome by evil. Just as Romans 2 verse 21 says, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. For the good in us, the light of God in us, that shines brightly, is like a double-edged sword, cutting across, breaking down every principalities and demonic holes, and they cannot prevail or overshadow us. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and all over the power of the enemy and nothing will by any means hurt you. For this is the authority granted to us children of God from above by our Lord Jesus Christ. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.